Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is Messages from Your Person. And this is the person on your mind. In front of me, I had three different options, each with a different color, number, and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one, okay messages from your person. They say, I didn't expect to catch feelings this fast. Okay, so right away we start off with somebody who feels like these feelings for you came out of the blue, okay? And they're trying to make sense of it. So it's a very crush-like feeling. You've got me doing things I never do. That's highlighting the same thing, okay? This person's like, they feel flustered in a good way, you know? I pick up on the fact that they just like, they smile when they think about you or when they're around you, even though they might try to hide it, okay? It has a very cute feeling to it. You've got me dreaming of a future. Yeah, this person is all in fantasy right now. They're dreaming about you, dreaming about what you two could be, talking night dreams, daydreaming, you know, all kinds of dreams. <laughs> Against all odds. Okay, so it's interesting that that card came out, but this person is like basically saying though, like even if it seems like the odds aren't in your guys' favor, they feel like, you know, anything is possible with this connection. It just feels too unique and strong to not have a chance. I you can't look in your eyes, you're out of my league, just the fool to believe I have anything she needs. Okay. So this person views you guys highly like a catch and they think, you know, what do I have to offer? But, you know, this person also views themselves like a catch, so even though this card came out, that doesn't mean that, you know, they just think you're out of their league. What it's saying is that they just view you that highly. You guys literally take this person out of their comfort zone, and you may even catch them averting eye contact, okay? Yeah. So that's not saying that they're not interested, that's just saying, you know... Locking eyes with you is intense. There is no escaping you. Everything reminds me of you. Okay, so this person's got it bad for you guys, no matter how much they're trying to hide it. And I feel like they are because it's so new. You know, they don't want to give their cards away too soon, so to speak. I can't tell if you're interested or not. Okay, so I feel like you're both mirroring that. So you both feel this connectedness. Trying not to show it. I may have too much is at stake for me to pursue this. Okay, so what that tells me is sometimes this person has a tendency to overthink. Okay, they get caught in their head and they kind of psych themselves out. So it is possible that now that I'm getting more of a story that this person does think you're out of their league. I can't stand that kind of talk, especially when I get this bird's eye view of the connection and what's going on here. I feel like they're definitely showing that you're both interested. Okay. It is a general reading, so take it if it resonates, but that's what the cards are showing currently. Yeah, and then we have It's Not In Your Head, I Feel It Too. So it's like on some level you both know that you're both feeling this connection and that you're both wondering, ooh, I don't know, you know, is this person interested? Are they not? So, you know, there's a bit of mirroring going on. Oh, wow. And then the mirroring card came out. So, yeah, exactly what I just said. <laughs> you seem happy without me. Okay, I find that also to be interesting. I feel like this person has a tendency to read into a situation a little bit more than they should. But they kind of have this feeling of like they create problems where there are none, you know, that kind of thing. Especially if you two are friends on social media and they're, you know, checking it out. They see you posting with other people something like that or you know maybe it's the lack of communication between you guys or something that's making this person think oh look at you living your best life without me type of thing but I get a very like 
a fleeting thought with that like it comes and it goes so like I said overall this person is a confident person but every now and then they do get caught up in their head and have like these insecurities come up where they do overthink and read too much into a situation you got me dreaming of a future together okay so that card came out twice this person like I said the dominant energy here is they're definitely dreaming about you and what you two could be when you're around time stops yeah, they see no one else but you. Okay, so you two have that effect on each other. It's awesome to see. Would you even want to hear what I have to say? So again, you know, one minute this person comes across as being confident and like, okay, like I know we're both on the same page. And then the next minute they're like, ooh, I'm not sure. Ooh, you know, would you even want to hear what I have to say? I will never find another lover sweeter than you. It goes even beyond that. Like, yes, this person thinks you guys are sweet and you have a heart, but even more than that, they think, wow, like you're one in a million. You are such a unique person that they're like, I'm never going to find anyone. They just know that they're never going to find somebody else like you. You will always be the one I want the most. Okay, so this person, they definitely have their eyes on you and they think, wow, you know, like you are what they're looking for in a person and they feel like they'd be a fool not to pursue this. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime you can email me. That information's right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, messages from your person. We have early to bed, early to rise. You are the one I've got on my eyes. Okay, so instantly when I see this card, boss vibes come through for me or somebody in a professional setting. So for some of you, the person on your mind is somebody that you work with, okay? For others of you, it's somebody that you see in a professional setting. So it could be at their job, okay? And for the rest of you, it'll be none of that. It's just that is what's coming through, though. I get a work vibe for this connection, okay? And this person wants you to know that even though they are, even though they have their intention on remaining professional, they do have their eye on you. I still think we could be something amazing with a little doodle heart right there. Okay, so that's interesting. This gives me like crush vibes okay like you got this person feeling like they're just they're crushing okay you got them wanting to daydream it's got that vibe though of like you make them dream about love again you know and thinking that anything is possible whereas they might have sworn love off you know that's what i'm trying to say like you've reignited this passionate flame within this person and they view you like an inspiration they say they're addicted to you. Yeah, they think your vibe, your energy, everything about you is unique. And they're just like, they love being around you. They, If you post on social media, they love viewing your post. There's just something about you. They feel like they can't get enough of you. And I honestly feel like it's because you guys come across like you're passionate people. And they find that to be super attractive. And it's like you... You're unconsciously giving others permission to be their passionate self, okay? Just by you being you. Saying and doing and just being yourself. They love that. I wonder if you have any idea how into you I am. Well, you're starting to, if you don't, <laughs> from this video. So that's why I dream about you without taking any action right now. Okay, so that didn't really explain why, but it does show though that they are definitely dreaming about you guys and what you two could be. And we're talking night dreams on top of daydreaming, 
but they're not currently taking any action. So, you know, the reason for that's going to be different for all of you. For the majority of you though, like I was saying, I get some kind of a work professional vibe between you guys. But right now that seems to be the main reason. Like I said, it's gonna be different for all of you because it's a general reading. I think about you all the time. Yeah, I feel like you guys know that because they're on your mind a lot too. I'd like to get to know you. Yeah, that's the other thing I'm getting the impression is that this person craves wanting to be by you, you know, wanting to get to know you, just spending more time with you is what's coming through strongly. Is the feeling mutual? Okay, so they wanna know. On one hand, I do feel like they think, yeah, you know, it is. On the other hand, they're not sure. And I feel like you're both mirroring that. Like you guys feel the same way. Like on one hand, you're like, yeah, you know, I know this person's feeling this connection too. Like you can feel it. But at the same time, you both are good at hiding it. So you're not totally sure either. I want to move forward with you. Yeah, and the thing about this person is when their mind's made up, like they do take the action steps to make it happen. Okay, right now they're in dream mode. Okay, there's a lot of like this periwinkle color here. So it's very dreamy, but on the other hand, this person is a very action-oriented person. So, you know, if their mind is completely made up, it's not going to be long until you see some kind of action from them. Again, general readings. So that's going to go for some of you. Take it if it resonates. I wasn't looking when I stumbled into you. It must have been fate. Yeah, okay, so this does have a feeling of like, out of nowhere, you both started shifting in the way that you viewed each other as well as, you know, like the feelings came out of nowhere. So you're both trying to make sense of this too. They say, if I knew this is what you wanted, da da da, like they would take the action, but I think at the same time they're intrigued that they don't totally know and they want to figure this out on their own. Like I'm not getting the impression that just because you're hearing this, you should say something. Only if it comes to you to do so, but if not, let it play out the way that it's going to. All right, we have just know that it isn't personal. That is the fact that they haven't taken action yet. That's not on you, that's on them completely is what they want you to know there. I want to take a leap of faith with you. Yeah, they do, and we see that. And like I said, overall this person does take like inspired, bold action, so I feel like it won't be long if this does resonate. I can read you better than you think. Yeah, okay, like you guys, they also have the ability to get a read on people, but at the same time, they're not completely sure. That's their confidence coming through, okay? The fact that they're even saying this. Then we have, I wonder if you're the one that got away. Okay, so with that, it could be that you two haven't seen each other in some time. Something like that's coming through. It just has this feeling of like, I can't wait to see you again. And they do feel like, you know, if it's meant to be, they will see you again. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. We're not broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again. Okay, so I was definitely getting that this is a newer vibe, not somebody you guys were romantically involved with, but if you were, this person is saying they still have hope for this connection. For the rest of you, that this is a newer connection. That's saying that, hey, you know, even though we're, we haven't made any progress with moving forward, just give me a little bit, just give me a little sign, and I'll know that, you know, it's like their green light to give this a go. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me, that information is right here. Also, if you would like permanent discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, messages from your person. Am I wrong for thinking that we could be something for real? Okay, so this person is starting off wondering, is this in my head? Are you feeling this too? Like, I'm just getting this feeling of them 
being in the dark as far as this connection with you goes. Okay, so a lot of wondering and questioning going on in their mind. Speaking of which, am I the one you want? Okay, so I normally don't see that kind of message right away where they're just cutting right to the chase, but in this person's case, they really want to know. I can't stand not communicating with you. Yeah, we see that, you know? This person feels completely in the dark and they have no idea what to make of this connection and where to go from here. And I feel like you guys are feeling the exact same way. I love the sound of your voice. Yeah, this person comes across like they could just listen to you talk. They love the sound. They love what you have to say. I love the way that you talk. Don't you want me, baby? They really want to know, okay? So whatever happened between you guys, you know, and this not communicating is driving this person crazy. They feel like they really want to bridge the gap between you guys. They want to know where you stand. You know, is there any hope for this connection? You just want to lay it all out on the table is the feeling I'm getting. I think about you all the time. Yeah, and I feel like you guys know that because they're on your mind all the time as well. I think I'm sleeping on this connection, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, so they want you to know that even though they're not communicating on their end, they're still, they still feel very much connected to you guys, okay? This has like a heartfelt connection and, you know, things aren't always what they appear. There's a bigger picture going on. In fact, what they also say with that is it's not over till it's over, okay? So they still have like this fight and this drive left to revive this connection with you guys. So this pile, unlike the other two, is definitely coming across as somebody that you guys were romantically involved with to some capacity. So if you don't feel like you were, feel free to choose another pile. I can't explain it, but I love it. That's the connection that they have with you. That's the feelings that they have with you. It's intense and they love it. I know that I've got to let you in. Okay, so it's possible that this person sabotaged this connection. Okay, you two could have got really close. You thought you two were on the same page and then all of a sudden it's got this feeling of like, like a rug being ripped out between you guys. So. You know, this could be their doing. It's going to be different for all of you on what exactly went down between you guys. But as far as like what's coming through here, this person is acknowledging their part in the connection ending and they realize that they have to let you in. They have to be vulnerable. They have to express how they feel in order for this to work. Okay, so like a side note just came through that you guys could be seeing 333 a lot or some kind of repetitive number and that's telling you that yes, this person is feeling the connectedness as well and they're thinking about you too in that moment. Okay, so that's like this bit of alignment coming through. After all this time, I still have hope for this connection. Yeah, and that's the point that they're trying to make is regardless of how things look right now, know that I still have hope for this connection. I still have feelings for you. Like it's not in your head, I feel it too. But at the same time, they wanna know like, how do you feel though? You know, are they being silly for still having hope for this connection? They don't know because you two aren't communicating. And those of you that are, it's like a little bit here and there. It's very polite. It's very like matter of fact or one word type of responses is what I'm getting. It's not over between us, okay? So they say that twice, and that's interesting that the cards came out like on top of each other. So that's a double emphasis of them saying that regardless of how things look, it's not over. Unless, of course, you want it to be over, then it's over. But they're trying to say if you both have feelings and hope for this connection, that it's not over. There's so much I wanna say to you. Right, but they don't wanna say anything like, like too much too soon after the time that's gone by. They are wanting to communicate with you again, but you know, they feel like they gotta be a little bit strategic in the sense that they don't wanna say too much too soon and ruin this, okay? They feel like it's a very sensitive connection right now. But either way, this connection is what I want. I really miss you. I smile at the chance to see you again. 
Okay, so they still have hope for this connection. They still entertain like, what if? What if we could repair it? What if we could fly over whatever happened? What if they could make things right? But there's also a part of them that wonders if it's too little too late. How would you respond if you heard from me? Yeah, they wanna know. But at the same time, you know, they're not gonna let that stop them from communicating with you. At least that's the direction the cards are saying that it's headed in. It's gonna be different for all of you, but it's what the dominant energy is. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me. That information is right here. Also, if you'd like a permanent discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.